All right, so today I got a, uh, um, some antennas to play with. I got them at a, uh, an estate sale, uh, very cheap. I paid five dollars for uh, all three of these sections. I'm not exactly sure uh, what they are yet. Um, this one here is a taco, taco. I think it's made by Wade Company. Uh, 130 through 190 megahertz. Uh, looks like five element coax Yagi. Not exactly sure. I couldn't find any uh, documentation on this on the internet. So I, I wrote to the manufacturer of Weed uh, to see if they can give me anything. And uh, same thing with this one here. It's a different type of. Uh, let's see. 190 through 250. Same company, you know. Don't, not exactly sure yet. And I got this right here. Is basically, I don't know if it's just a, a back end of one of these antennas. I don't know if it was on like that or something. Um, not exactly sure yet. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one here that looks almost complete, and I'm gonna hook up my uh, analyzer to it and see what it comes up with. Now, uh, I know this isn't ideal for testing, but I just want to see what it, if it actually resonates anywhere. So I'm going to get my analyzer. And my cable. A little adapter because it already has a, a BNC connector on it, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to change all this if I can get it to work. So I'm just going to lay in there for now. It's probably good enough for the test. Let's see. Put this in the uh, 140 range. Wow. Not bad. 1.3. 134. 140 147 and so it may need a little bit of adjustment but uh, you know plus it's not in the ideal testing spot either it seems to be pretty resonant in the lower end between yeah, 122 to 122 is where it jumps. Alright, so I'm going to keep it for one, 150, 147, 146. A little high where I would operate it usually, but let's see if I move it around a little bit. I may have to adjust the, the elements on this, just a hair. But let me see. 130 to 190. So, oh, these are crimped, so I'm not sure if this is a, I may be able to move, slide these feed points up and down, I'm not sure. Like I said, I have no documentation on this, so I don't know. 
but my guess would be to slide these uh, feed point maybe and see if I can move the uh, resonant range along this so it's definitely lower than I would want Right around 1. uh, 137 megahertz. So uh, I will have to uh, definitely try and get this thing to, to move up a bit in frequency. So I don't even know if this is the full antenna either. So you know, I don't know if I'm missing anything. But uh, yeah, that was just a test, and it does resonate. So. It may work well as a three element beam, but uh, if I can't get it to operate in the, the frequency range that I'm looking for, it may be useless. I, I don't know. So we'll, we'll see more around this antenna eventually. If anybody has any information, uh, definitely let me know. All right, so I changed the locations because it seems like it was uh, being affected by the uh, bench there so and plus I've only got like six feet of coax on this I'm sure that has a factor too but um, but I got it as I got it up on a, a little uh, um, umbrella stand here and I just got it about I don't know seven feet up in the, in this, in the uh, seven feet vertical and uh, the numbers has definitely improved so we get down from it's still resonant down low, but it's uh, more acceptable once you get higher. So I think with a little bit of adjustment on the feed point, <clears throat> I might be able to get this a little bit more zeroed in. But uh, still, that's still not too bad. I can I can live with that um, for a test. So uh, yeah, I don't know. If I can get some documentation on this antenna and uh, figure out how to uh, truly adjust the elements, that would be nice, but uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, new enough that the documentation has been scanned for the internet. So I may have to just try to get it the best I can and, and run it. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's a Taco Taco weight antenna whatever the hell it is, uh, Y53. So, like I said, if anybody has any information, <clears throat> anybody has any information uh, please let me know.